So we will be performing grip strength measurement using our speed manometer. So to prepare the speed manometer, you have to wrap the speed manometer. So i ano niya lang siya, i fold niya lang in circle para sa kung sa kung yung grip ng patient to on sa speed manometer niyo. So you need to secure it using um, a micropore. So i wrap niya lang around the micropore. Ay, the speed mo. Yan. And then, yung instruction natin lagi in performing the speed mo, the grip strength is, is to inflate the cuff to 30 or 40 mmHg. Just to be standard, inflate na lang natin siya ng 40 mmHg. Okay? So, 40. Para meron tayo konti pressure or laman dito sa cuff natin. So, we will ask the patient to grip on the cuff. Kahawa. So, ibaw na lang. Wait, wait lang. Ayan. And the proper positioning would be, the arm should be at the side of the body, 90 degrees, flexion of the elbow, and also neutral dapat yung kanya forearm. Okay. So our instruction should be holding the grip position in 5 seconds. So instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we could provide an uh, additional feedback to the patient, like uh, instructing the patient to grip on the cuff. Okay, so again, dahil nawawala yung air natin dito, kailangan natin i-reinflate ng 40 before starting. So now that we're at 40, so patient natin, sir, please grasp, grasp, grip, 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 more. Continuous grip, 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 and relax. Relax. Okay. So just to um, correct the patient, so the position you would should still be remaining at this position. So hindi siya pwedeng magkaroon ng excess movement and then the gripping should be continuous. Again, every time na grip yung patient, bababa yung air natin. So inflate natin to 40. MMHG, ask the patient again to grip. Okay, continuous tayo, 5 seconds. Okay, grip, 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 grip. Okay, relax. And then, the result of the patient went up to 180 MMHG. So, we just have to uh, subtract 40 from 180. So, ang okay, document lang natin is 140 MMHG. So, you need to perform this test 3 times. And then get the average. And then always remember to perform the um, grip strength on the other side. Always remember the rule of 10% natin with the grip strength. Your right hand mo, which is your dominant, would always be 10% stronger than your non-dominant left hand. But if the patient is left-handed, usually the... Um, the Ayan, yung baseline of the strength would be the same. 